This is the second section of chapter six on linear programming, and this is on graphical methods. Now, this is where we take our inequalities and we graph them. OK, so we're going to be graphing our inequalities. Now, remember, on our inequalities, when you shade them on a graph or draw them on a graph, there's always going to be one side that you shade. So what I'm going to say is that you shade the side you don't want or shade the unwanted side. Now, the advantage with doing that is that the area that you do want will be left blank. OK, it will be left unshaded. Otherwise, it becomes a bit of a mess. OK, so this leaves. The wanted area, that's the area that we want, the wanted area. Now, you'll remember this is called the uh, feasible region. OK, we'll leave that area blank. It will leave that part unshaded. It just makes it easier to do. So what we'll have is something like this. So imagine these are the axes here. We draw an equality. OK, and let's say this is the area that we actually want down here. But what we'll do is we shade the area we don't want up here. Let's say that there's here another uh, inequality like this. OK, and this is the area that we actually want above the line, but we shade the bit that's below the line like that. And let's say we had a third inequality that went like this. This is the side that we actually want. We shade the side that we don't want over here. And then what we are left with here is this gap in the middle, which is the area that we, we want, the feasible region. And often we label that um, R. Example four here, linear programming problem is given as minimizing this objective function here, minimizing the cost 0.5x plus 0.4y is subject to these constraints. On a graph, we've got a graph here, some graph paper, represent the feasible region for this problem and label it R. So the first thing we need to do is to put some axes on. Which we've got the second thing we need to do is we need to write these as equations and draw the lines and then shade which side of the line we want. So change the inequality for an equal sign so we can draw the edge of the regions. And also remember that depending on what symbols we have uh, in the original inequality, that will tell us whether we need to either draw a solid line or a dotted line. So we'll start with the first one x equals y so it's going to be a line that goes like this we'll draw that in a moment and because it says less than or not less than or equal to we're going to draw a dotted line at the end of that region okay so there's the edge of my region i just need to decide which side to shade now this side over here is where all of the x coordinates are less than the y coordinates you can pick a point so for example if this was one two that y coordinate sorry x coordinate is less than the y coordinate it'd be the same for any points over here. So this is the actual area that satisfies the inequality. This is the area that doesn't satisfy the inequality. Now remember, we shade the side that we don't want. So I'm going to put some shading here. I'm not going to shade the whole bit. That just shows me right. That's the area I don't want. OK, so that's our first one done. Let's move on to the second one. So we start off by drawing the line 2x equals y. So that's this line here. Maybe what I should do is label them as I go along. So this was the line x equals y. This is the line y equals 2x, basically, if you just swap it around. Um, now, this is greater than or equal to, so I'm, I'll change that to a solid line. So just like the previous one, I want to decide uh, which point um, or which side I want to shade, which one I don't want to shade. And the easiest way to do that is to pick a test point. So let's say, for example, I pick this point here. So maybe if this was labeled up as one for X and three for Y. So let's just do that here. So it's my test point. So this is the coordinate one, three, for example. So the way to decide if I want this side or not is to put these numbers into the inequality. So put one for X and three for y, and it will work for any point over this side. Two times one is two, 
it's just right working down here so it's my test point um, I've got 2 times 1 greater than or equal to 3 so I'll just put those in now is this statement true or false 2 is not greater than or equal to 3 so this is a false statement which means this is the side I don't want I want this side but we remember we shade the side that we don't want which means shading this side here so I'll do the same thing again and just do some lines like that okay so we'll tick that and then we can move on to our third inequality now the easiest way to draw this one here is just to pick two numbers that are going to satisfy um, this equation that we've got here so for example if I made let's say x equal to 2 then that means that y equals 3 I'd get 6 on both sides that's all we need we know that it goes through the origin it's going to be 0 0 so we'll just plot that point so we'll go 2 across 3 up and that gives us this point here so we're going to draw a line that goes through the origin and then goes through that point there okay so that's that line drawn there so I've just wrote it as 2y equals 3x again it's a solid line because you've got greater than or equal to and again we're just going to pick a test point and decide which side we need to shade now um, unless a line goes through 0 0 pick 0 0 as a test point now the line goes through 0 0 so just pick an easy number that we know is on one side or the other okay so let's pick this point here. here's my test point so that's 1 1 what happens if I put 1 and 1 into this? So here's my test point. So if I make x equals to 1, I'll get 3 on this side. If I get y equal to 1, I will get 2 on the other side. Is that statement true? Yes, 3 is greater than or equal to 2. So 1, 1 is in the area that I want. But remember, I shade the area that I don't want. So I'm going to shade this side of the line. So we'll put that shading in over here. This is the side that I don't want. Now, for the next inequality, we're going to have to put some numbers on the axis because this one doesn't go through 0, 0. X plus Y is 60,000. And the easiest way to do this is to make X equal to 0 to work out Y. So when X equals 0, Y is going to be 60,000. And when... Uh, y is 0 we will get x equal to 60,000 so we want a sensible scale here so maybe we'll go up in 10,000s so 10,000 20,000 30,000 40,000 50,000 60,000 and the same on this axis here so I'll just label that so there's my label or labeled axis so I want a line that's now going to go through those two points and it's going to be a solid line OK, so I've drawn my line in here and I've changed the shading just to the, uh, something a little bit more solid just to make things a little bit clearer. So what we need to do now is decide which side of the line we want. So I'm going to choose 0, 0 as a test point and decide whether this is in the region or not. So if I put 0 here and 0 here, 0 plus 0, is that greater than 60,000? No, it's not. It's false. This side of the line is the false line. This is, side is the true um, side. OK, this is the side that I want. I shade the unwanted side. So I shade this side of the line here. So this bit that's below because this is the bit that I don't want. This is the bit where the inequality is false. And I knew that because I picked zero, zero, this point here as a test point. OK, so I've labeled that and then I've just got the last non-negativity um, inequalities to do. They're nice and easy. Um, x is going to be greater than or equal to zero y is going to be greater than or equal to zero so that means just shading everything on the negative side of the x and y axis and which area am i left with okay uh, well i'm left with this area here it goes around like this i'll just highlight it in yellow and it sort of goes out there off to infinity and the question said can we label this region here R? So this is what we call our feasible region. So you should now be able to do exercise 6b on pages 147 to 148 of the textbook.